Hello and welcome, my name is Setica, thank you very much for joining me. Today we're going to be playing some regular World of Tanks while I figure out whether or not I should keep on showing you every single game in the T-54, since apparently it's going to take a whole lot more than just the 20 or 50 games, or meh, videos that I was thinking it would take. I'm not entirely certain that watching me play the same tank over and over and over again for what, 50 videos is going to be that interesting for all of you. So, while I figure out how to do that, I'm going to be showing you some regular World of Tanks live. Now, I have to say, say a very big thank you to Create It. Cre create It. Crea create It. I am very bad at pronouncing names. I am so very sorry. Well, <laughs> I'm very sorry about that. But, thank you very much for uh, suggesting that I try out NVIDIA's Shadow Play for recording rather than Fraps. Now that I'm no longer locked to 30 FPS, even though it is still a bit lower than it used to be, still it is a massive difference, really a game changer. Thank you very much and I'm very sorry I butchered your name. Create it. Create. Create? Create. I am very sorry, but thank you very much. Now, what should we do in this game? Hmm, I'll be moving into the middle, in this little tier... tier 7. Russian light tank. Oh, come on now. T-55A. Hmm. Why would you turn right then and there? Well, I guess it was my fault in the end. Whatever. Let us move on into the middle of the map and see what we can see. That's it indeed. Ah. No, apparently not. Okay, we have one artillery, meaning that I don't want necessarily to stay in the same position every time I poke my head up over this... A uh, little rich here. So look. Hello. To Let's find target. Yeah, I need them to help me because, of course, if this T62A decides that I, I want to, he wants to kill me, then uh, I'm not really going to be able to prevent him from doing so. But that's irrelevant because we're going to be awesome. Hello, Bulldog. Okay, I don't want to be uh, getting shot at from over there, so I'm not going to be moving. I'll be moving over there. Hmm, I don't really know where I should put myself in this map. As a light tank, I think I'll actually relocate completely, which means I should probably not expose my ass to anyone sitting up there. You think? I think so. That would probably be a marvelous idea. I'm going to be relocating over here. Or maybe even somewhere uh, along, maybe give a bit of fire support somewhere along those lines. Oh, can I get a shot? Nope. It looked like I could for a moment there. Apparently not. No, I would really like to help out that E50M right over there, so I'll sit here and take a shot at that guy. I've probably been spotted by everyone, meaning that I need to get the fuck down from this bridge so that I don't get killed by anyone sitting up there. Hmm. Where should I go? Maybe over here? I'm actually really inexperienced playing a light tank on this map. Probably shows. Don't think I can pen this. Well, I could. Way to make me eat my words, I guess. Okay. Moving over here. Quickly. I'm going to be flanking this, this T-57 heavy. Not that it seems like my friends need it. But I am going to do it. There we go. Okay, he's mad at me now. Apparently he's also bad at aiming, which is nice, but... 
that's how it goes sometimes. Now, since this is not the T57, or T54 rather, games, I'm not going to be showing you me sitting there being boring and just looking at what the enemy team are doing, or looking at what my team are doing. No, we're just going to be moving straight on to the next game. Like this one, maybe. Let's do that. Now, I am rather inexperienced in, in playing a light tank. I only have like 5,700 games, so it's not like I played every tank very much. I only have one tier 10, really. I'm getting close to my second, which will probably be the Yak Panther E100, or the E100 itself. Of course, if I decide that I'm going to be playing an awful lot of the T57, it's probably going to be one of the two, um, one of the two tier 10 mediums that it goes to. Since I have already surpassed my experience in the E75 and the T54, just from those first 50 games I played in it. It was a bit of a bummer. Of course, it does make sense that it is much more difficult than I initially thought it would be to get three marks of excellence. Because, of course, if it was easy, then everyone would have it, right? Hell, I find it rather rare to even see one, compared to how many I would think there would be. But, of course, now that I'm thinking about it and talking about it, it, it of course makes perfect sense since it's based on an average. <laughs> yeah, that was actually really nonsensical what I just said. <laughs> I find myself doing that a lot, having to readdress what I'm saying. And that's just how it goes, I guess. But I do try and learn from my mistakes at least. That's something, isn't it? Now I'm a bit worried that we are only three tanks over here. Although it does look like quite a few of the enemy tanks are down in the city. But I never really like it when we are this few up here. Okay, Lorraine. Are you really going to just sit there? Well, it was worth taking the shot. It's not like I'm in any imminent danger, really. Of course, the artillery could be aiming right at where I was. In which case I would have died. Or at least taking a lot of damage. Is it only him? Though, that's really one of the big questions. How many tanks are going to be right here? Oh, damn! Okay, with that hit, I'm going to be moving forward. Especially considering how uh, aggressive the enemy team are being. Okay, it looks like it is just those guys. Meaning that we can probably take them rather easily, and we need to, because we are losing very heavily right now. You two need to be much more aggressive. Go forward, please. Yeah, it was a god shot. It really was. Okay. Okay, that guy has that completely under control. So, what I need to do is get the fuck back here and support those two artillery. We need to deal with that aggression that's coming around our flank. Now, I am hoping... Well, hoping in vain, apparently. I was hoping that the artillery would be moving up here rather than just staying down there. Yeah, that was probably not a good idea what he just did. Okay, I'm going to be needing two shots for both of them, probably. And I really do kind of need to interrupt the E-75, meaning that I'll be... Should I just go down for him? I will, I think. Why would you do that? I know it was lucky that I hit him, but still. Why would you do that? That seemed like an awful idea, really. Okay, he's interrupted. So, let's see what we can see. Go! It's one. Where's that guy looking? Okay. He's looking over there. 
Let's aim at this guy. And get him. There we go. Okay. So, it's under control again. But we need to deal with this, this, with this Type 59 before he kills our last artillery. That we at least would be very, very nice. Fuck! Come on, artillery. You can do it. I believe in you. Okay, apparently he's going after us rather than the artillery. Thank you very much for that. Oh, he is going after the artillery. Well, thank you for that oversight, then. Okay. Well, though, why, where are their artillery, then? I'm guessing... I'm feeling like they are probably down here. And I'm th I'm thinking that this is already one. Because we have three very big tanks and that guy is going to die momentarily. And we now know where either their ISU or their T-28 are. And this guy just fired, so he's dead. There we go. Okay, it's not the T-28. I'm doubting very much that he's fast enough. So, it's either their artillery or it's the ISU. The ISU has not been spotted. Yes, he has. He was down in their stack. Down in their cap. So, it's the artillery. I'm just going to die. Even if I had taken that shot, it would not have been game-ending. Far from it, really. Okay. The T-54E1 is probably going to completely annihilate that guy. He is. Yeah, there we go. Okay. No worries. I'm guessing that the ISU is AFK. In which case, I'm just going to go down and kill him. Oh, he's not. He's up there. Okay. Can I get a shot in on him? That's the real question. Where is he going? He's going towards... How did I even spot him, really? Okay, the T-54 is going up there. How much health does he have? He has enough to take a single shot from the ISU, meaning that he will probably survive and win that fight. So, I'm going to go over here and deal with their last artillery. Or not. <laughs> or maybe I'm just going to... Okay, let's have a look. Yeah, no problems. That C-54 did very well. Okay then, that was a good second game, wasn't it? I feel... That, that was good. Should I take another one? A third game. Ah, let, let, let's do it. I feel like it. I feel like playing a third game. I only won that LTTP game. That's good. Haha, <laughs> I was clearly kill-stealing a bit. Considering the kills and the damage done. But whatever. If it works, it works. And we won, even though it did look a bit bleak there at one point. Alright. But, what tank should we play? Hmm? I don't know. What do you feel like? I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I'm taunting you since you can have... Since you have no way of telling me what you want me to play. Hmm... Huh. <laughs> what should we play? What should we play? I am terrible in the FDM 50T, so I am not going to play, be playing that. But we've already played one of the light tanks, so I don't feel like playing that. Maybe we should just take the good old staple, the E75, right? Let's do it! Let's get ourselves a good E75 game. We're top tier and there's only two artillery, so it's awesome. I don't know why, but I've noticed a hell of a lot of artillery this weekend. It's probably just because there's this five time going on, but holy hell, it is completely ridiculous. Four, five artillery games? What are we, back like two years ago? <laughs> I don't know what's going on, it's completely insane. And I don't really feel like I enjoy it. I actually don't enjoy it at all. I find it completely detestable that there's that many artillery. Simply because a lot of my positions are kind of stupid, if I have to be completely honest. And they are not exactly 
being made more viable by the introduction of further amounts of artillery. No, indeed, they are probably just resulting in me getting a hell of a lot more unnecessary deaths since I'm playing like a donkey sometimes. Now, that is actually a sexy tank. I haven't really noticed how it looks so far, but it, it looks nice. I want it. I want every tank. And I want three marks of excellence on every tank I have. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. I'm sorry, friends. That would take ages. And I would have to be supremely much better than I currently am. Oh, there we go. Alright, good. Now we have artillery who's going to help us. So, while well, that guy up there is going to be a little... Damn. It was a bit of a snapshot. Would be more luck than anything, but I like to take those kind of snapshots. Not because I usually expect them to hit, but because it usually is at least a good idea to take the chance. Oh. Now this, I can aim a bit more, right? I wonder if the artillery is aiming for me at the moment. Shall we see if I can take this shot? Let's have a look. Damn! I F U all blue, green and other color. <laughs> I see. That sounds very intellectual, I gotta say. Such damn good linguistic skills. There we go. That was a bit better. I am so sorry, my friend, for falling back that early. That was my fault entirely that you took that damage. But Okay. Come on, I'll cover you, mates. I'll cover you. Hey, he's dead. Now, let's see what we can see. Hello? Anyone over this ridge? Or can I just move above it? Apparently I can. Is, no, is anyone noticing me even? What? Really? Okay, fair enough. Let's uh, get this guy and let's ram that guy. Sup, motherfucker? Okay, guys behind me. Deal with that guy. Go. Okay, maybe I should not have counted on my friends behind me dealing with that guy. Whoops. Couple of artillery shells. What? Okay, I must have hit his other plate or something. Is he firing high explosive at me now? What the hell? <laughs> I'm sorry, that was a bit over the top aggressive probably, and it's more luck than anything that I survived, but it it turned out alright, doesn't it? And that's usually how I play. <laughs> it turned out alright. Can usually explain most of how I play. <laughs> More in spite of my gaming than because of it. Really? Okay. Oh, I almost hit my friend there. Right then, artillery! I'm coming for you! Now, I'm not going to be going down because uh, that would just result in me dying on my 29 health. They just have to hit the same country as me. I mean, I would not want... I would not want to be a crew member in this tank. Oh, you gotta kill. Uh, maybe I should have been a bit more greedy. But whatever. It went all... It, it went all right in the end. Now I'm doing serpentine maneuvers. Oh, he's over there. Screw cap! I don't need to cap. Fuck capping. Okay, I should probably just have gone for the cap, so I could at least have gotten a cap point or two. But whatever. I uh, think that will be it. Yeah. So, 
with that, I hope that you enjoyed watching me play a little bit of World of Tanks, and I don't really know how it's going to work out with the T-54 yet. I would really like your input on how you would want me to uh, handle it if you want me to use snippets, where I'd only show some, a few games here and there, good games probably, or interesting games, or maybe just the games where I get the mark of excellence, of course, also that. <laughs> and then a few uh, progress videos or something along those lines. Or if you want me to show you every single game, I would really like to hear what you have to say about that. And also, thank you all very much. We are now at 100 subscribers. I know that's very few compared to the big sub, the big uh, YouTubers, but it's really nice of you. Very, thank you very much for the support. It is very nice. Thank you so much, all of you. It has been great so far. And uh, I don't think I'll stop doing this because it's awesome. And you guys are awesome. So, with that, have a very nice evening, all of you. Thank you.